guys, Darren here with the Scott Group and this week's Spotlight on OC. This past week we headed out to the Richard Nixon Library located in Yorba Linda. Um, my daughter had a couple of days off for parent-teacher conferences and figured to take, take her out to see something different. And honestly, I've never been here before. Lived here my entire life. Um, we took my mom, so it was wife, daughter, and my mother. My mother's lived here her entire life and heck, she's 80-something. And she's never been here, so it was a real treat for the whole family. Um, museum's located at 18001 Yorba Linda Boulevard there in Yorba Linda. It's actually his birthplace where his uh, original house was. The house he lived in from zero to, I think, six years old. And you get to walk through his house. They have Marine One there, which is the helicopter that he flew on, of course. And the entire museum with a, what, what is it, a reflection pool? They've had weddings there, funerals. They had Nixon and his wife, Pat Nixon. Both of their funerals were there, um, which you're going to learn all of this when you get there. The Nixon Library, it's $16 for adults, $12 for um, high school age kids, $10 if you're military. And active military is free children, 5 to 11 to 6 bucks. So relatively, it's very inexpensive for what you get out of this. Um, here you see a picture of the Oval Office, and you walk through the Oval Office, sounds silly, but never realized it was actually oval, like oval. For some reason, I thought it was round. Go figure. Um, you get to walk through, and you're guided by what they call docents, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. People who volunteer their time and are extremely knowledgeable, extremely nice, talking you through each section. So you walk into the Oval Office. There'll be a docent there, either in a red coat or a blue coat, telling you the history of this office and of Nixon at the time. Right back here, you can see the desk. You actually get to walk in, sit behind the desk, take your picture on, um, there. Quite fun. The events at uh, the library coming up right now, this, right now it's what, February? Um, by the way, lovely weather out here in Southern California. Perfect time to go. Um, found a lot of things that were relative to as we were walking through the museum in regards to China, Russia. It seems like a lot of the things that we saw were as relevant then as they are today. It seems like the stories never really change. So, anyways, 12-minute um, video when you get there, I would highly suggest you go through that first. It will give you some basis of his life if you're not truly familiar. I always heard about his resignation or the impeachment, whatever you want to call it. Not a whole lot more. I had no idea. Um, well, number one, I knew this. He was 37th president. Uh, the museum opened up in 1990. But Nixon actually was the first one to create the EPA, Envir Environmental Protection Agency. He created OSHA. Um, he was the first president to visit China. That opened up a ton of relations and kind of changed the world stage. He visited Russia in 72 and spoke with Brezhnev. Um, so very, very active. He was a great speaker if you listen to him. Um, very interesting. So definitely go through the 12 minute video first, get some basis for it. You'll walk through the entire museum. There are different stations talking about Vietnam, of course, Johnson, the Kennedy shootings, um, assassination, how it related to him. Um, just a, literally a ton of information. We were told it was going to take three hours. I thought there was just no way. By the time we're done, look at the watch. We're going to the gift shop, and yes, there is a gift shop, so if you have kids, bring money. Um, yeah, we spent three hours there, and it did not even feel like it. It was an amazing afternoon. Um, a lot to learn about Nixon for me. So if you're looking for a great day, three hours, take the kids, learn an experience. It's something here in your backyard. Well, I guess if you live in Southern California, it's in your backyard. Uh, get to walk through the Oval Office. You get to walk through the West Wing, and you can see right, right here. They actually will rent out a replica of the West Wing for you. I know my uh, niece actually had an event there once she had catered years back. Simply amazing to look at. So check that out too. It doesn't have to be just for the museum. You can also go there for an event. Um, yeah, guys, I, I hope you check it out. Hope you found this interesting. Um, Here's just a couple of photos that we took. I thought this was really interesting. 
In these difficult years, America has suffered from a fever of words. We cannot learn from one another until we stop shouting at one another. He said this in 69. We could post this today and it'd still be really relevant. So anyways, um, ask the docent there if they had ever switched the face of the eagle. That was interesting. I'll let you find out what it is when you go. Um, the time is the time has now come in America to reverse the flow of power and resources from Washington to the states and the communities, and more importantly, to the people all across America. That was in 1971. So, there's my mom. Yeah, I think she got a kick out of it. So, it was, I, it was honestly nice to have mom there too, because she had actually lived through a lot of these periods of time. And to hear like a first-hand account of what it was like when these things were taking place was wonderful to have. So, really appreciative of that. Um, Teddy Roosevelt. There's Nixon sitting in the Lincoln room. Of course, it's not really him. And there is Nixon meeting with the uh, Chinese premier. I'm not sure if it was a premier or a president. So anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed it. Check out the Nixon library. Definitely, definitely suggest it. Inexpensive, and it's a lot of fun. Anyways, don't forget, if you're ever looking for a home in Yorba Linda, you want to live close to where Nixon's buried or where his childhood home was, don't forget to give us a call. All right? Take care.